What's up, guys? And welcome back to another episode of the Team Member Perspective Podcast Show. This one's going to be a quick hit. I want to address something that has been very helpful for me in the insurance space, specifically selling financial services. Financial services aren't required. And so there is that element of complexity that makes it a little bit more difficult. I believe that as far as riding home and auto, renters, just fire and home, if you just go out and quote people and get more people to quote, and if you keep your quoting high, you're going to start to close more policies, right? It's a given. That's how the PNC business works in my eyes. Now, life and health is a little bit different because it's not required. And there's a there's an element of complexity in there because people a lot of times get these types of benefits through work. And so it becomes easy for them to just tell you no. And that's it. That's usually where most conversations go. And for a lot of times for team members, right? And that was for me early on is I couldn't figure out how to sell these things because it was just so easy for them to just tell me no. I was setting myself up for objections, right? Now, with the life and health, one strategy that I want to talk about that has served me well is in regards to closing. I never like to feel like a salesperson. And so because of that, I have strategy when I bring up price. I also have strategy with how I'm saying the price or how I'm delivering the price to them. In my sales presentation, when I'm building value around why it would be important to have these coverages in place and the different risks that they face by having it, telling them that I can help them with the solution, really just painting that picture for them so they can see and feel why. That presentation's emotional, it's descriptive. I utilize pauses, you know, I ask clarifying questions. I wanna make sure that I've painted that picture well enough so that the customer can see value in this. So then when I talk about price, I have enough value to back it up. Two things I wanna say, in quoting price, I like to quote, one price. So if you are quoting multiple products, quote one price for simplicity, okay? You wanna make this decision as easy as possible for your customer. So quote one price. The way I like to do it is I like to just tell them what their price would be if they had all of that. It's an easy, easy way to give them the price in a very non salesy pressured way where It really just puts the ball in the customer's court. And I like to think of delivering this in a logical way, in a way that a doctor would deliver this to me as a patient, in a way that it is communicated that I don't care what they decide. So the way I've done that is by simply saying this. So, Mr. Customer, if we did these coverages, it would bring your total bill to blank. Or adding this new vehicle with these coverages would be about blank. After you do that, just be quiet. The customer is going to tell you what they think. If they have an issue, this is where it's going to arise. I like to quote one price. If they're calling in to add a policy and you're quoting other things along with that, still quote the one price for all of it. If they aren't calling in to add anything, quote the monthly bill as one price if they did add whatever you're pitching, right? So it would bring your monthly bill to this if we did that. Then be quiet. That will serve you well, serve me really well, especially if you don't like to feel like a salesperson, okay, which I don't. And our customers don't like, they don't like to feel like they're being sold to, and neither do you guys. So why not try this strategy? Works really, really well, and it becomes repeatable. You're going to stay out of your head. You're going to start having these conversations, and you're going to start quoting in that way because it's repeatable. It's easy to do. It takes the emotion out of it for you as a salesperson, which is communicated to the customer which is great, but it also takes that sales pressure away for the customer, right? They're not going to feel like they're being sold to. They're going to take their guard down, actually listen to you and give it some thought. And a lot of times it makes a lot of sense. So they'll do it. Okay. The second thing around quoting is many of you have had customers call in or, you know, they prematurely ask for the price, meaning you haven't had a chance to deliver value. You haven't had a chance to tell them and talk to them about the benefits of why it would be important and how their life would change. You haven't done your sales presentation, but the customer asked you, what is the price prematurely? It's very tempting guys to just give them the price right there. But if you have not done your sales presentation, don't give them the price yet. Give yourself a shot at winning, right? Build value. Even if you think you're cheaper, 
Even if you think it's a no brainer, do not skip the sales presentation because that's what sells. So if they ask you for the price prematurely before you've had a chance to build value and talk about why, refrain from giving them the price. Try your best to get into a sales presentation so you can paint the picture for them, so you can help them understand why, because then when you deliver the price, they're not just only thinking about the price, they're thinking about all this value. And if you've done a good job at your sales presentation, they're thinking about those benefits that they could have. Okay, they're focusing on the benefits, not on the price. And in this market, it is very important that we get away from the price conversation and we get to more of a benefits and coverage conversation. This has been a very simple way for me to do that, is if they ask for the price prematurely, refrain from giving it to them until you've given yourself a shot to do a sales presentation. Thank you guys, we will see you soon.